say when men begin to do what hear God in what in please can you off your phones microphones and please reduce these volumes hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me warn. Let not my microphone go out from the altar. Don't make that mistake again. Can I hear you say amen? I prayed seriously for God to give me an atmosphere to be able to preach what he made my heart to see. I pray seriously. I ask him for atmosphere to be able to to speak his word. And I I believe he answered my prayer. Lift up your hands. Can you say, oh Lord, Show me your mercy. Let my heart accept your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let my heart tap into your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you shout amen? You may be seated. Hallelujah. I want you to greet your neighbor and say, neighbor, I thought you are not going to be here, but I'm happy you are here, neighbor. Amen. I have waited for this message I want to preach. 
we were praying in this place and the Lord began to utter in my heart the doings of mercy and favor the wonders we were praying here and the voice keep on coming I have to rush to the altar I remember I remember I rushed to this place and wrote it down the wonders of mercy and favor so I am going to be preaching to you because those words came because of what God wants to do. Can I hear you say amen? amen? Hallelujah. Let's look at Psalm 102. We are going to read from verse 13 to 16. Psalm 102, we are going to read from verse 13 to 16. 102. He said, Thou shalt arise. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Let's go to verse 14. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust of Zion. The favor the dust thereof. Go to verse 15. So the hidden shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. 16 the last. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. When I was teaching during the week, I said that Zion is two things. Zion is a place and also a people. Zion is what? A place and also what? A people. And I said, if there is no people, there will be no a place. Because it is people that makes a place. I said, it is people that do what? Makes a place. If a place is important, it means the people of that place made the place important. Hallelujah. You see, every year, people from Nigeria, I don't know about South Africa, they travel to Israel. They travel to what? Israel. The physical soil of, of Israel is not the best of all soil. But because there are great prophets and men that have made strange sacrifice from that land, the land become a holy land. So what makes a place powerful? It's not that place. It's the people of that place. Are we together? And I am going to be preaching very line by line. Because I want you to understand something. The power of this meeting is in your understanding. I said the what? The power of this meeting is what? Is in your understanding. Your understanding is the power in it. And I am praying that God will give you understanding. I also perceived in the spirit that people's life will be shifted to another level. Amen. That amen is tired. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want to begin right down if you have your writing material. God is a secret. God is what? A secret that men can only find through commitment, through dedication. God cannot be found in the street. God is a hidden spirit. God is what? That is a spirit that doesn't want to appear every place because the strength of God is the place God hides. Am I talking to somebody today? And I want to put it to you that anything that God will bless, God will first of all hide. God will first of all do what? Hide. Anything that is exposed to all manner of nakedness, Satan can destroy. That is, protecting yourself is very, very important in your journey to success because you grow when you are protected. Am I talking to somebody today? So God is a spirit. That's why he said, you will seek me. You will do what? 
you will seek me and find me when you shall seek me with all your heart with what now why so many people are not encountering god the way god should be encountered is they have not been able to understand seeking god with all their heart amen with what with all their heart and when you don't seek god with all your heart you can't find god you can't do what you can't find god and i want everyone that is hearing me may it become a priority for you to find god and the key god can the key that enables men to find god is commitment total commitment total dedication total what commitment total what dedication if you are a person of there a little here a little there a little here a little up down sideways anything it will be very difficult for god to show himself to you did you hear that hallelujah please i want to lay the foundation very proper another thing i want to say to you before i start preaching i want to say to you that god have a secret nature that is called mercy god have what a secret mindset a secret scepter that is called what mercy can he say mercy hallelujah and that secret nature is what we want to tap into you know many times people think that mercy is a joke mercy is what a joke or sometimes people think that the person that need mercy is somebody who has sinned against God. Are you hear what I'm saying? No. I will tell you today. Can you say neighbor? I want to hear something today. From Genesis unto Revelation. There is no man have that have been able to meet qualification of God. rise from adam to moses to all the prophets there is nobody that have come to the required standard of god but why the secret why they work successfully is this secret that is called mercy you didn't hear what i said i said the secret that make them engage in a successful journey with god is this secret called what mercy i am speaking from adam to moses to all the prophets both the one their name appeared in the bible and the one their name didn't appear their secret key for successful journey with god is the secret key of mercy please i would like you to follow me that's a secret key of what of mercy now if you see the scripture we read god said i understand your frame i do what that is i understand that you are a man i understand that you are what a man and a man cannot be able to attain the platoon of god as a man until if mercy do not allow him I can you say if what if mercy set on ever mercy <laughs> amen that means if you are seated here and you know that you don't know everything that is you are not omniscience you are not what and you are not omnipresent are you hear what i'm saying that is you don't have capacity to be everywhere and you are seated here that means god knows that for you not to have that there are limitations around you there are bounds to be mistakes around you because there are things you don't know and there are there are things there are places you can be at the same time am i talking to you today and that's why he said i know your frame i know how you are built 
I understand the way you are formed. Can I say, I understand? Can I hear you say better amen? amen? Now, I want you to begin to come close with me. There is a secret seat in the chambers of God that is called the seat of mercy. And in the arrangement of this seat, this seat is higher than the ark in positioning. I think I can give you an example. Hallelujah. If you look at this altar, there are steps. There are what? Now, in behind the veil of the temple in the ancient time, behind that veil, where people don't see, where people don't do what? There are things that was arranged behind the veil. There were things that were what? One is the ark of covenant that carries the, the ten tablet stone of the commandment of God given to Moses inside the ark. But above the ark was a seat called mercy seat. You are not getting what I'm saying. Can I ask two people? Come, sir. Come. Yes, sir. Come to me. Amen. Please, can you stand here? How are you, my big friend? <laughs> stand here. You are ark. This is behind the veil. That means in the ancient Israel, nobody should see this place. If you come, a curtain will be spread over. And behind the curtain, these are the things that was behind the curtain. One, the ark is here. Now, the mercy seat, come. The mercy seat is above the ark. Now, at every time when people come to offer offering for forgiveness through animal sacrifice, the priest we carry the, the, the animal and the blood and come, they will bypass the ark and come and pour the oil they will, oh my god they will pour the blood upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat this is what was going on and that's why and anytime a priest want to do this job People will tie rope upon his waist and then he will crawl into this inner place. What does he do? He offers sacrifice. What is that sacrifice? He pour the blood of animal upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. And when this sacrifice happened, the sin of the people, the punishment the consequence of what they have done God will say I have pardoned but before then this thing happened as a secret everybody do not know what was going on between the priest and God and what was behind but the day the blood of Jesus dropped at Calvary the Bible says that fell that covered the people oh my God can you say that fell that veil that covered the secrecy behind the veil was turned from bottom to the up. For the first time, people saw the mercy seat. For the first time, people saw the ark of the covenant. And maybe they saw the blood of, oh my God. Oh my God. Can I prophesy to somebody today? You will embrace mercy like fire. I say you will embrace mercy like fire. Somebody said, yeah. For the first time, immediately Jesus cried, Eli, Eli, Laba, Sabatani. The Bible said, the veil, that thing that covered people from assessing the revelation of mercy was taken away. People can see the mercy seat. Can I speak to somebody today? As I look into the heavenly, God is sitting upon a seat called mercy seat. I 
And when God sits upon this seat, things happen among men in a different way. You can go back to your seat. Hmm. Hallelujah. And do you know why? Do you know why the veil of the temple was broken? Immediately the blood of Jesus dropped. It means from that day, there is no more acceptable sacrifice before God. Except, particularly the sacrifice of blood. Except the blood of Jesus. And can I tell you something? When men begin to see the mercy seat. Hebrew 4 verse 16 came alive. Before people were afraid. Before this behind the veil destroyed people. Before. Because can I tell you something? The thing that kill people are not the thing they know. It is something they don't know. Hallelujah. Now after the veil has been torn. And everybody who is worshipping in the temple can see what was inside the veil. They can see. Now this scripture come. Let us therefore come. <laughs> Let us therefore now come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Why do the spirit of prophecy say come? It's because the veil has been lifted. And now people can see a seat that God has which nobody knew before. That is of mercy. <laughs> can I prophesy to somebody here? When I begin to tell you the wonders of mercy, you will understand why it's going to be different in your life after now. That MM is tired. I said that MM is tired for my life. Amen. When I was a child, I thought that the prayer of mercy is a prayer of people who are weak. But when I became a man, I discovered that that is the key that God depends upon to progress in his destiny on the earth. Anybody that didn't travel with God in mercy will suffer judgment. And that's why a man will do what another man did. The other one die, and the, God said to the other one, move forward. Lift your hand and say, oh Lord, help me to assess your mercy. Can I hear you say, better amen? amen. Now, this thing, I, this thing I explain now about the mercy seat. If you go to Exodus 25, 18 to 21, you will get it. You will do what? You will get it. How the priest go behind the veil to pour oil before the mercy seat. Upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor again. I said neighbor. Amen. From today. God we do something in a new way. And I hear you louder. Amen. Amen. Then the question is what is mercy? What is what? Mercy. Mercy in a simple way is God removing judgment from a man so that an avenue to bless the man can happen. Let me repeat again. Mercy is God removing judgment. Removing what? Judgment. So that the man can have an opportunity to be blessed. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Can say removal of what? Of judgment. That is mercy. Look at the way David put it. Psalm 32 verse 1. Psalm 32 verse 1. Mm. He said, Bless is he. Can you say bless? 
is what is he whose transgression is what is forgiven whose sin is what that is what we call the removing of judgment removing of what David said blessed is that man whose transgression is what forgiven and whose sin is what covered can I prophesy if there is anything that is holding the hand of God blessing you mercy shall remove it this morning I say mercy shall remove it this morning come on if you believe shout a louder amen look at verse 2 he said blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity and whose spirit there is no what there is no God that's why we said mercy simply means God canceling judgment am I talking to somebody today I said mercy simply means God doing what canceling can I have said canceling what judgment can I speak to somebody here now if there is any judgment that is withholding the hand of God blessing you mercy shall take it away uh -uh, your enemy is tired hallelujah I want you to also write down mercy is an unmerited compassion and forgiveness God demonstrates towards a man an unmerited can say unmerited an unmerited compassion and forgiveness God demonstrates towards a man mercy can I tell you something today as long as the mercy seat is open somebody hearing me shall receive a compassionate a compassionate not the one you merited but the one you didn't merit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now wonders of mercy say to neighbor wonders of what of mercy one mercy invokes God's attention towards a man Say to your neighbor, neighbor, mercy, do what? Invokes the attention of God to a man. And can I speak to everyone hearing me? An attention of God will come upon you. I say, God will give you a separated attention after now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I want you to not play with what you hear. Because what you hear is part of your life. When I say that mercy will speak for you, if you hear it, it becomes part of you. Yeah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Yeah. Can I say it invokes the what? Attention of God. I would like us to look at Luke 10. We are going to read from verse 35 to 42. Quietly. Luke 10. Hmm. and on the morrow that is tomorrow when he departed he took out two pens and gave them to the host and said unto him take care of him and whatsoever thou spendest more when, when I come again I will repay thee go on uh. which now of this three thinkest thou was neither unto him that felleth among the tears go ahead and he said he that showeth mercy on him then said Jesus unto him go and do thou likewise go ahead now it came to pass as they went as they went that he entered into a certain village he entered into what Jesus entered into a certain what and a certain woman named Martha received him 
received him and unto her house. Go ahead. And she had a sister called Mary. That is not what I'm looking for. Amen. Okay. Go further. Go further. Let me see. Mary, which also sat at Jesus, but Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, does thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. Go to 40. And Jesus answered, that is not what I'm looking for. Can you go to Matthew 10? Matthew 10, 35. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Daddy, you are wonderful. Yeah. Hallelujah, you are wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, you are wonderful. You are worthy. You are wonderful. Come on. Hey, you are well. Hallelujah, you are well. Hallelujah, you are well. You are wonderful. You are well. You are wonderful. You are well. Hallelujah, you. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. Hey, you are worthy. Oh. Hallelujah. You, you are, are wonderful. wonderful. You, you are worthy. You are wonderful. You Matthew 17 verse 15 Matthew 17 we are looking at verse 15 hallelujah are you there yeah. I say hallelujah Lord have mercy can you say Lord have what on my son for he is lunatic and so vexed for often time he fell into the fire and often time unto the water. Can you say, Lord, have mercy? I think I say, Lord, have what? Have mercy. Hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. I pray, Lord, we have mercy upon you. I say, Jehovah, we have mercy upon you. I am looking for the scripture. The man cried and said, 
Lord, have mercy upon me, son of David. That's what I'm looking for. Amen. Can he say, son of David? Have what? Have mercy upon me. Say to your neighbor, son of mercy, son of David. Have what? Have mercy. Can you say, have mercy? Hallelujah. What do we want to bring out? Mercy invokes. Can you say, mercy? Do what? Invokes the attention of God. I pray, may God, may your life receive attention. I say, may your life receive attention in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can he say, son of David, have mercy. Can he say, son of David, have mercy. God bless you. Hallelujah. Matthew 20 verse 30. Can we look at it? Matthew 20 verse 30. Can we look at it? Yes. This is what I'm looking for. Hallelujah. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside. When they had, when they what? Please, I am still speaking about mercy, commanding attention. Can you say attention? And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside. When they had, when they do what? When they had that Jesus, Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, what? Half mercy. Can you say half mercy? What was their prayer? Come on. What was their prayer? Oh Lord, thou son of what? David. Go ahead. That one. And the multitude. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Can you say praise the Lord? And the multitude rebuked them because they should hold their peace. They should what? But they cried the more. They did what? Can somebody cry the more tonight? This morning, can he say, I will cry the more? And they cried the more, saying, Have mercy. Can he say, Have mercy? Oh Lord, thou son of what? David. Go to verse 32. And Jesus, and Jesus did what? Stood still. This is what we call the invoking attention. And Jesus did what? Stood still. Can I have said stood still? And called them and said, What will you that I should do unto you? Can he say mercy? Yes. I think I say mercy. Yes. Do what? Invokes. That is one of the wonders of mercy. I said, That is what? The man didn't say, Oh Lord, anything. He said, Have mercy. Can you say, Have mercy? And God understand the prayer of mercy. I said, God understand what? The prayer. They commanded the attention of the Messiah by just crying out, Son of David, do what? Have mercy. Can you say, Have mercy? I pray, may you command the attention as a prayer for mercy. That amen is tired. I say that amen is tired. Now, the second wonder of mercy. Mercy is a key for proper deliverance. Say to your neighbor, mercy is what? Is a key for what? Proper deliverance. Say to your neighbor, for proper what? Deliverance. Let's look at Lamentation 3. Verse 22 to 23. Lamentation. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Lamentation 3 verse 22. Hallelujah. It is of the Lord's mercies. Can you say it is? it is? Of what? Of the Lord's mercy that we are not what? Can you say I shall be delivered? Can you say I shall be delivered? Can you say it is of what? 
of the Lord's mercy that we are not what? Consumed. Because he is compassionate. Do what? Fail it not. Can you say mercy does not fail? Look at verse 23. Say to your neighbor, it is of God's mercy. We are not what? Now, that mercy said, they are new. They are what? They are new every what? Every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Can you say they are new? Can you say by mercy? I shall not be confused. Say to neighbor, by mercy, I shall not be what? Consumed. He said, by the mercies of God, we are not what? Consumed. Can I prophesy? May mercy deliver you from everything that wants to swallow you. Every power that wants to swallow you. May mercy deliver you. Say to neighbor, I shall be delivered by mercy. Can he say, I shall be delivered by what? Hallelujah. The next wonder of mercy, I said here, your life will become hard when you run. When you run the rest of your life without mercy. Say to neighbor, my life will become what? Hard. Can I say hard? When you run without mercy. Romans 9 verse 15 the book of Romans chapter 9 we are looking at verse 15 hallelujah verse 15 said for he said to Moses I will have mercy I will what I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will what hmm Go to verse 16. So then, it is not of him that do what? Do, that will it. Nor of him that what? Run it. But God do what? Show it mercy. But God do what? It's not of him that wills. It's not of him that runs. But God do what? Show it mercy. Can you see? That when you depend your life on what you can do, you will run a hard race. But when you ride on the chariot of mercy, you run by the strength of God. It's not of him that wills, nor of him that runs. It is God that do what? Shows mercy. Every day people wake up, they want to do one or two things. Can I say to somebody hearing me? If you didn't do it from the foundation of mercy, then you will run a hard life, a hard race. A hard what? I pray, may you not run a hard race. It's not of him that wills, not of him that what? That run it. It is God that do what? Show it mercy. Look us and I pray, may mercy take you to another level. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, what are the things you need to do to activate God's mercy? To activate what? Simple. Love him in your heart sincerely. God do not bless you because you are perfect. He blesses you because you love him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will show mercy. I will what? I will show mercy to that generation that love me. I will what? Can I tell the locust army this morning? You don't need to be perfect for, to be blessed by God. You actually need to just love him unconditionally. I say you actually need to what? That is in the heart of your heart your love for God is too much is what? is too much and that love for God will invoke mercies of God let me show you this scripture it will help us Exodus 20 we are looking at that 5, 6 Exodus 20 5 verse 6 
Exodus 20 verse 5 verse 6. He said, Thou shalt not bow thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, I am a jealous God. I am what? Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and what? And fourth generation of them that do what? That hate me. That do what? That hate me. But look at what he does to the people. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that what? Can I say, I will show mercy. That means what you need for the umbrella of mercy to come upon you is to love God deeply in your heart. Every day I keep on telling you that making God number one is a key to everything. I say making what? God. Can you say God number one? Is a key. Can you say love? He said I will show mercy to that generation that do what? That love me and keep my commands. And keep my what? Commands. Locals, I might want to say to you, the mercy seat is already open. And God has made an announcement. Come before this throne. You will receive mercy and you will receive grace. To help. Oh my God. Do you know I was reading other translation of that Hebrew 4, 6. He said, come before the throne so that you will receive mercy and grace so that you will receive help anytime you need it. Anytime. I say anytime. He said, anytime you need help, help will come. So, in other words, mercy is not because you have fallen down. Mercy is an ability of God helping a man. I said, mercy is what? Ability. It is the power of God helping a man to do well. Can I tell you something? From this moment, before this year is over, if mercy come to you, these are some practical signs you will see. One, you will, let me, let me tell you how mercy do, what mercy does. Mercy helps you to believe in truth than lies. If God will show you mercy, he will fashion your ear to hear truth than lies. I said, you, he will fashion you to hear what? Truth than what? Than lies. When mercy come to you, you will, he, mercy will help you to speak right word in the right place to the right people. Maybe some of you may not know what it means. Speak right words in the right place to what? To the right people. You may not know the magnitude of what you are saying. You may not know what? The magnitude of what you have done or what you have said. But mercy can make you say something that will open your next door. Amen. Propelled by God. Amen. You didn't hear what I said. Amen. Do you know that when I was into this meditation and prayer, I discovered that I have taken some decision of my life. I don't know what it means. But as days and time progress, I discovered that those decisions and plans we are orchestrated by God himself. Even when I don't know the magnitude of the outcome of those plans. Can you say mercy? Yes. I say can you say mercy? Yes. And then I say mercy. Yes. Ah. Hallelujah. This is what mercy does. Mercy of God in a man is you may do a small thing because the mercy of God is upon you God will go and advertise that thing to become very big can I say a small thing God will go and do what advertise a small thing to become what very big God makes what you beautiful in the hands of people that can bless you it's mercy the small work you did somebody will see it Ah, this is the best this is honorable where have you been now it is not what you have done it is that mercy have come upon you 
to advertise, to magnify your work in the eyes of men. That's what mercy does. Can I tell you something? When you don't have mercy and you keep on working hard, nobody will notice your work. And that's why it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs. It is God that do what? Shows mercy. That is magnifying your work among the people that can honor that work. Can I tell you something? If God have mercy upon this church, have mercy upon your life. Listen, simple. Oh, oh my God, can I, can, can I speak to somebody today? A lady that was carrying mercy was not in the social media platform, but one day she just put her picture Amen. When she was interviewed, he said, My husband met me. My husband did what? Met me only by seeing me on, on Facebook. I am not telling you if you don't carry the measure of mercy she has, don't go and put yourself. You, you, you will attract charlatans. A rich man, a, a what? A rich man. A rich man just saw. A picture of a lady with mercy. And say, I will marry you. But you don't know who I am. Just looking at you. I feel you are my wife. When they were interviewing them in the television, I was so shocked. But there are people that have put their picture in the, on the social media. What they are attracted is vagabonds and fugitives. What, what do I mean? When mercy is upon you, you your, 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 your work will be advertised in a proper way. Can I hear your louder? Amen. Locals, I may want to say to you, mercy shall go with you. I say, mercy shall go with you. If you believe, shout a louder. Amen. Now, when you assess mercy, God favoring you becomes easy. When we are praying here, I said, favor doesn't happen without mercy. It is, it is mercy that creates room for favor. So when we preach favor without preaching mercy, some people can get stuck around favor. Because favor is a servant to mercy. Favor expresses the magnitude of God's mercy upon your life. When God has favor, mercy upon a man, God will command favor to come to that man. And can I tell somebody today, mercy shall bring you to a place where prayer cannot bring you. I said, mercy shall bring you there. I was sharing during the week, a very popular man of God in Nigeria. An apostle was seeking, what was the secret of this man? Why is he so, so a governor of millions and nations? sit in one place so i want to find out the secret when he went to where he prays do you know his prayer point mercy mercy lord for two hours mercy oh lord your mercy oh lord your mercy rather da ba 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 mercy lord ra ba 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 and can i tell you something what that man control is not what a man can control controller of governors and controllers of, of, of president as I'm talking to you now in Nigeria one of his pastor one of his pastor is the vice president of Nigeria one of what one of the pastor that is heading one of his branch is a president of Nigeria to tell you the, the kind of a person I'm talking about do you know what he prays in the secret he said oh lord your mercy. And can I tell somebody today, if your eyes can open to the secret chamber of God where mercy seat is, things that happen around you will change. I say things that happen around you will change. He keep on praying mercy. Mercy. The man, the man came back and said, mercy, did he commit any sin? Did he commit what? Any sin? The man, it is not sin. Mercy is God doing something. I 
than the giving you credit. It is God taking responsibility. It's God saying, I cancel your limitation and I bless you because of me. Mercy. And I have told you now that all the people that survive with God, they always cry mercy. Moses said, I know you Lord, you will have mercy on whom you have mercy. And you have compassionate on whom you have compassionate. It's not of him that weaves, not of him that runs. Do you know tomorrow, everybody will start wheeling. Everybody will start running. But can I tell you something? People don't survive because they wheel and they run. There is mercy that attended to them. And I pray for somebody. May mercy attend to you. I say may mercy attend to you. Come on, if you believe, shout a louder. Amen. Do you know that everyone here, if you can open up your heart openly to God and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Do you know you are praying a great prayer? I said, do you know you are praying what? A great prayer. <laughs> say to them, a great prayer. And I pray that somebody will receive that great prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. Yes. Mercy yes. is a system of God helping a man. I say it's a system of God. Do what? Yes. Helping a man. Helping. Favor, you know, mercy is a system of God's help. A system of what? God's help. And I pray that somebody shall be helped. Can we look at that scripture again? 416 of the book of Hebrews. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yes. Read it from. Use this translation. Okay. 416. 416. Hallelujah. Let us. Say to neighbor, let us. Therefore, what? Come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Can you use that translation you brought before? This is King James. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> do you see that? Please, do you see that? Do you see that? Therefore, say to neighbor, therefore, therefore, let us approach. Let us do what? Approach. Remember before, you are not allowed to approach. You are not what? But now the veil has opened. He said, now let us what? Approach closer to the throne of grace with boldness. Do you know why he put boldness? Because that behind the veil is a fearful place. Because many priests have died. Many priests have what? Have died when they went to make sacrifice and die behind the veil. It was the people that drew them out. Now when the veil opened and people can see the mercy seat, they will go back. This place a lot of people have died. But the Bible said, don't run. Come boldly. Come what? So that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us at the proper time. To help us at what? Can I say to somebody now, you shall be helped at the proper time. In the night you shall be helped. In the day you shall be helped. Around your office you shall be helped. Now, when we were children, we thought that mercy is for people who are falling down. But when I became revelationally grown, I discovered that mercy is a system of God's help. And he said that help will happen at the proper time. Can I say proper time? I didn't have said proper time. Receive mercy. Receive grace. So that we can be helped at what? At a proper time. Can I tell you something? Before this year will be over. Something unusual. Will happen in your family. I 
say something will happen in your life a proper time help shall come from God that is why he said come boldly many people don't know the history of this come before the throne of grace it was because nobody comes everybody is afraid of it nobody understood there is a seat in the inner chamber that carries the mercy of God an average Jewish man see God as a canvarious God who destroy at every anger who destroy at what at every anger but there is a secret chamber in God that is of the seat of mercy and God is saying to the army come to this seat come boldly receive mercy receive grace so that you can begin to have a proper time of help can I say proper time the time you need the help can I tell you something if you are here there is a debt that is over your head it can say debt you are owing you are owing a debt that have capacity to take everything you have and you are seated here if you tap into this message I am telling you a proper help shall appear for you some of you don't hear what I say. You don't know what it means to be helped at the proper time. Okay, most of you don't. You, uh, that's a proper time. Hallelujah. You know, it is now I understood why some things will come here to happen. It's a proper time help. Who remember the time we, were, we, we wanted to we wanted to go to Malamlere for an outreach. Hallelujah. We invite we wanted to take this television station, you know, TV media. We wanted to take them to that crusade. Hallelujah. And their cost, and their cost was we have paid like three thousand, and their cost is remaining around seven thousand. Around what? Seven thousand. And there was nowhere to get the money. There was no what. I don't know what happened. I finished praying because I'm gonna preach. I finished praying and just entered the car out of meditation. How do we do it? Do I call them to stop coming? And if I call them to stop coming, the money we pay, they will just, it will just go. Hallelujah. I was driving. Immediately I came to that junction at section A. A man just drove with golf and double-crossed me and said, man of God, I have been looking for you. I have been what? I have been looking for you. He said, no, 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 no. He jumped into his car counted money. Do you know how much he counted? 7,000 and it was 7,000 we need to balance. And he said I was given an appointment because I came. That time we were in a tent. I came. You didn't know who I am but you were praying for me. I am that man. And I have not seen you for some time. But this is my appreciation. I counted it was the exact amount we need to bring Can I tell you something? You will receive mercy and you will receive grace so that you can be heard at the proper time. At the proper time. When I was when I was studying, getting ready for this, that incident came. And I keep on sensing that all my life, at the time when the road is about to close a proper help comes from God. I pray for somebody today. As the mercy seat is open, God is calling your family. God is calling your brothers and your sisters. Come boldly before the throne where you can receive mercy. you how prayer how prayer works said your neighbor let me tell you how what Psalm 33 verse 18 this is what mercy does when the mercy of God is upon you 
when you pray, God will listen. Do you see? <laughs> Can you go to King James? 13 verse 18. Yeah. Behold. Behold. Say to your neighbor, behold. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, behold. The what? The eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that do what? Hope in his what? What did you hope? That's said the eyes. I think I said the eyes of the Lord is upon them that do what? And upon them that do what? Hope in his mercy. May somebody that is going to pray today May you pray and say, Lord, I am hoping in your mercy. That amen is tired. Can you say, oh Lord, I am hoping in your mercy. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. Can you say, mercy? Can you say, mercy? Can you say, mercy? You say, mercy? Hallelujah. Let's look at Psalm 4 verse 1. Psalm 4 verse 1. Psalm 4, we are looking at verse 1. Hear me. Say to your neighbor, hear me. When what? When I call, O God of my righteousness, thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and what? Hear my prayer. was the secret that made those two blind people to say to Jesus that was passing son of David have mercy have mercy why did Jesus abandon every other people and begin to say who is calling for mercy Verse 6 Sam. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Have mercy. When mercy display, hearing of prayer become easy. Mm. Surely. Say your neighbor, surely. Can you touch your heart and say, Surely? Emmanuel Nisi. Don't call your name here. Don't ever call my name. Surely, Emmanuel Nisi. Ah. Surely, Emmanuel Nisi. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Can you say amen? Can you say surely goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever can you go back to lamentation 3 verse 23 lamentation 3 verse 23 
the mercy is new every morning. Say to neighbor, the mercy. Can I prophesy to you? Every morning of this year, as you wake up, you will embrace mercy. That MM is tired. From this moment, from Monday, as the day breaks forth and you wake up from your bed, the angel that carried the mercy of God will shake hands with you. Somebody shout a louder amen. He said that mercy, they are new. They are what? Can you say they are what? New every morning. That is, mercy is valid every morning. Anytime you see morning, you see mercy. Anytime you wake up in the morning, you wake up in the cloud of mercy. And if the mercy of God is upon you, you will speak the right word at the right place. You will behave in the right way. Even when you don't have good behavior. Amen. You might be a shakara, shakara, shakara person. That's a shakara, shakara person. But when mercy is upon your life, that time you become a very gentle person. Mercy will... Sus oh my God. Who is here that have been suspended? Are you hear what I'm saying? You are suspended and the moment of your glory happened. And people say you are good. Let me tell you. Somebody went in the community around here and said, yeah, that man, that man in that place is arrogant. He's what? He's arrogant. He's very violent. He's this and that. And their church is disturbing us. Their church is what? And some of the people that look like elders of this world, they gathered and they came here. And when they were coming, they were coming with furious. They were coming with anger. They were coming to see that man. I will learn that he's a foreigner. What is he coming here to do? They walked from this place and they were screaming. When they entered into my office, mercy suspended me. Even though I'm a lion, I became a lamb. I was behaving nicely. I said, I was what? Yeah. They started telling me, but they told us that you are violent. We came here to fight you, but you are the kind man. And they start pointing, yeah, this place. Oh, we like the work you are doing, but they, were, they even told me the name of the person that reported me. That's why I said, when the mercy of God is upon you, even though you are gonna gonna at that moment you'll be suspended to behave nicely. Hallelujah. They say they say, yeah, we love the work you are doing. You are a good man. We came, we wanted to see a man that could not rise up because that is what they told us. They don't know I can rise up. I said they don't know that I can what? If you touch a lion, a lion will not keep quiet. Amen. But at that moment, say to neighbor, at that moment, mercy made me to behave nicely. I was, you know, when we were, they were out of four. When we were coming out, we were pointing hands. I know that the person that sent them will be peeping from the window. Mercy rewrote my life. Mercy, Lord. Mercy rewrote my life. Hallelujah. Another thing you will experience mercy will make favor answer for you. Can say mercy. You know, I have spoken so largely on favor. But I didn't know that favor doesn't happen without mercy. Favor doesn't happen without what? Thou will arise and have mercy upon Zion. Because the set time to favor her is come. Can you enter into your spirit? Can you enter into your spirit? Can you close your physical eyes? 
Can you see where the veil of the temple, where the seat of mercy is? Can you see it? That is where God is saying, Come. That is where the Spirit of God is saying to you, Come. We have seen all your labors, we have seen all the things you are trying to do. That is nice. But now, come. Come. Mercy. Mercy is a helping system. It is a secret system of God that he uses to make one man better than another. Can you say it? Can you say it? Come on, can you say it? Mm. This is the reason why all the people that understand this about the mercies of God, they are always very humble. They are always very, very what? very humble they are very humble because they know that everything they have God gave to them mm. can I tell you can I tell you wherever you are if you can see that seat if you can see that seed with the eyes of your spirit, your life will not be the same. If you can see the veil torn and you behold the secret seat, where God sits to separate men, make others up, make other people become glorious than others, that seat is a mercy seat. It's a mercy that can pick you from ashes and make you sit with princess. It was very glorious to tell you that Joseph realized that it was the mercies of God that made him to overcome the family violence of his brothers it was mercy that enabled him to overcome the seduction of Potiphar's wife it was mercy that made a people in the same prison world to announce him before an authority that can make him fulfill his dream. He said, the mercies of the Lord.
is your story you are about to rise Genesis 39 verse 21 at me you will be the next Joseph lifted by mercy and by favor the next but the Lord was with Joseph how and show him and what what after mercy what again happened gave him favor Gave him what? In the sight of the keepers of the prison. Can I tell you something? Mercy shall happen for you. Amen. And when mercy happen, the people that should be an instrument of your elevation, your name will be announced to them. Amen. That is favor. You didn't hear what I said. I said that is what? favor I say that is favor before favor happens mercy will happen you think you think it's everybody that interpreted dream that will say come out of prison you think Come out of prison. And there are no beautiful things you have done. More than interpreting dream. That could have make you have a place here in Guyana. It will not happen when mercy is not there. And it's not that God doesn't want to have mercy. It's that Zion couldn't see the throne of mercy. But today, I come to say to you, see. I come to say to everyone who is here, see. See. See, the chambers are open. The veil is lifted. These few hours I am preaching, I am busy lifting the veil so that you can see. God was with Joseph. Joseph was shown mercy. And can I tell you something? Most of you that are not South Africans, do you know that God can still prosper you? Joseph was not a proper Egyptian. But mercy made him a controller of numbers of things. If you depend your life on your technicality and ability, this land will waste you. This land has swallowed giant. So many talents have gone. So many people were buried yesterday. So many people are dying. But when a people find mercy, God will become your defendant. God will become your supporter. God, oh my God, somebody's not hearing what I'm saying. Lift your hand and say, oh Lord, 
I appear before the throne of your mercy. Can you stand to your feet, everybody? Can you say, I appear before the throne of your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ? Come on, somebody begin a prayer. It was the blood of animals the poor upon the mercy seat. But today and now it is the blood of Jesus. That means anything that was done evil with any other animal either crocodile or snake or cow or chicken against your name shall not stand Amen. I say shall not stand Amen. that means anybody that is trying to kill a goat kill what? a goat when the blood that opened the veil is still relevant today that person is making a mistake Amen. the mercy seat cannot accept the blood of goat when the blood of Jesus has poured can I tell you something? As we lift up this blood that is kept in this place, the glory of mercy shall spread to the left, shall spread to the light, shall spread to families. Come on, if you believe, shout it louder. Amen. Can you say, Oh Lord, today I come before the throne of grace, I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord.
Chivas. Begin to say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. That was the prayer. That was the prayer. That was the prayer. That made God abandon everything and begin to listen to a people that cry for mercy. Can you begin to pray? Tanama says, Satanama. Please don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. The Bible said that man cried aloud. Cried aloud. He didn't murmur. He didn't murmur. He cried aloud. 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 Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. Lift your hands. Quiet from every corner. By mercies of the law, we are not consumed. Today, I want to say to you. I don't care how it looks very bad. I come to say to you this, this afternoon that you will not be consumed. I don't care how it looks like that. I don't care how it looks like there is no hope. I stand upon this throne that the seat of mercy is sitting and I lean on the seat of mercy I prophesy to the army you shall not be consumed anything the devil have designed to consume you I stand up on today in the garigarism of this revelation to say to you, you shall not be consumed. Lord, I am pleading with you from the place of mercy, asking you today, demonstrate the power, the agility, the efficiency of your mercy in the life of everyone here even those that are watching online anyone that trusts in your mercy let your power be demonstrated again mm. 
Lift up your hands. I am hearing the Lord say, say to them that this morning, this hour, everything that is making the hand of the Lord short from rescuing you has been taken away by the voice of mercy. And that's why some of you that are standing here now, I see you qualify for supernatural visitation. I see an intervention happening. I see God traveling with a regalian of mercy. I see him walking in the midst of the people. Now he will not touch you from qualification. He taught you from mercy. Now in Koratani Satika Zina Hofasita Tanako Ranasinza Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you. No man can do it. It is the only thing that your mercy can do. I depend on your mercy. I depend on your mercy. I rely on your mercy. I pray for your mercy. Thank you, Father. Please. As you drink this blood, you are appearing before the seat of mercy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.
Revealed through blood, the throne of mercy shall be relevant and shall endure forever. You said we should do this in remembrance of you till you return. Lord, as your people eat of the body of Christ, anyone that eat shall assess the eternal mercy of God. Healing shall happen. Deliverance shall happen. Amen. Restoration shall happen. Amen. Everything that Jesus achieved shall be very practical in their daily life. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let the people shout a louder Amen. Jesus, we bring the blood of the New Testament, the blood of the New Covenant, the blood that was poured for mercy. Lord, to us we drink of this blood. Let all the heritage that is loaded in the blood of Jesus become experiential become expressed in the life of your people by the covenant of the blood let every prisoner go out of the prison Amen. by the covenant of this blood today let mercy be revived Amen. let men that have been delayed by the laws of life let them be lifted beyond laws Amen. let them be lifted beyond the ordinance Amen. let them ride in the school of God's mercy let things that they were not qualified to receive, let them begin to receive it. I bring the seat of mercy at the chambers of their heart. Let mercy speak for you. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let the people shout a louder Amen. I am free. Praise the Lord, I'm free, no longer bound, no more chains holding me, my soul is set free, he's just a place praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm free, I'm free, I am free, praise the Lord, I'm free, no longer bound, no more chains holding me. My soul is set free. He's just the blessing. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. 